A house loomed on the horizon. Bright blue walls stuck out of gray rocks, barely discernible against the bare sky. Kana B-70 activated the telephoto in her eyes, and the lens whirred. Discs turned in her head with a scratching sound, prompting maintenance.sys to send yet another note to Katwe Garage. Her outbox bulged, bloated with rejection. The lens failed to protrude. She launched the photo edit app and zoomed in on the picture of the landscape, cropping out the house and ending up with a heavily pixelated image. The scratching grew louder as mem.sys scanned billions of media files in her drive to understand the house. It appeared circular, with a cone-shaped roof, much like the peasant huts in some of the photos she had, dated 500 years ago. The late afternoon sun bounced off its roof, and she thought she could smell the paint. In contrast, recent pictures of buildings had roofs that were too rusted to reflect any light, if any roof remained at all, and walls bled bare of paint. She searched the pixels around the house for evidence of a civilization that maintained the property. Nothing. Just bare, gray rocks, crowding an impossibly new house. Perhaps it is a mirage. Her system hung up. The discs stopped scratching. The gears in her belly ceased whirring, and the fans on her back froze. She had had a thought. Mem.sys had not made calculations on image comparisons to associate the house with an illusion. It had received data from somewhere. Something had whispered. She checked the address of the sender and found a strange program in a chip inside her head, organic.sys, whose metadata identified it as a secondary operating system. It had become corrupted and, exactly 50 years, 8 months, 24 days, 6 hours, 40 minutes, and 5 seconds ago, had stopped functioning. Organic.sys sent another data packet to autocorrect. Stopped functioning. Died. A memory purge had cleaned her system of the dead program, and yet here it was, sending her data like a ghost whispering to a child. 